The AW139 Phase 8 update features the Honeywell Synthetic Vision System. The Synthetic Vision System, or SVS, provides a three-dimensional view of surrounding terrain, airport environment, and obstacles, coupled with advanced flight path symbology. SVS improves safety by providing the pilot with an unprecedented level of situational awareness. This increased situational awareness results in more stable approaches and reduced visibility, and in turn improves fuel efficiency by reducing the number of missed approaches. This is also a great benefit for time-sensitive operations such as medevac. In this video, we'll point out the individual features of the SVS and how they help the pilot in maintaining an increased level of situational awareness. The SVS display starts with all the basic navigation data provided to the pilot with a traditional blue over brown display. The blue over brown display shown here is used for the purposes of this video and shows the entire PFD and is slightly different than phase seven. Instruments such as the airspeed, vertical speed, altitude, and heading are all displayed in their traditional locations. The altitude preselector and selected airspeed are shown above their respective instruments. The flight mode enunciator, or FMA, is displayed towards the top and indicates the armed and selected autopilot modes. Ground speed is displayed below the airspeed indicator. It's important to remember that the SVS is a conformal instrument. This means that along with a three-dimensional image of terrain and primary flight and navigation data, SVS also includes advanced synthetic vision features that provide the pilot with important navigation information. An example of this is the flight path symbol, or FPS. The FPS is similar to what is found in heads-up guidance displays and depicts the aircraft's actual lateral and vertical path conformal to the SVS terrain display. For example, if the FPS is three degrees below the horizon line, the aircraft is in a three-degree descent and not just pitched down three degrees. The Phase 8 SVS also features a 3Q flight director system that provides guidance information from the autoflight system. The magenta dot and lines provide pitch and roll guidance, while the arrow provides collective cue information. The radar altitude is displayed in green at lower altitudes. The zero pitch reference line replaces the traditional ADI horizon. Just like the old ADI horizon, depending on the flight conditions and terrain, the zero pitch reference line may not depict the natural horizon. The aircraft reference symbol indicates the pitch attitude of the aircraft. The Phase 8 SVS also overlays advanced information over the terrain picture. Grid lines are depicted along the ground and provide an approximate north-south, east-west orientation. Range rings are displayed at fixed distances along the ground and help the pilot quickly determine approximate distances to objects displayed. The rings are displayed at three, five, 10, and 20 miles. Using the rings, we can tell that the runway in this picture is approximately six to seven miles away. When flying an approach, SVS provides a target diamond, which indicates the FPS aiming point for the approach. Both the obstacle and terrain are highlighted as necessary. Landing helipads are also displayed and highlighted in cyan. Elevated helipads are also shown. As we get closer to the runway, even more information is displayed. These symbols indicate obstacles, such as buildings, towers, or other threats. The Phase 8 SVS also displays obstacle and terrain threats using yellow or red colors as identified by the EGPWS system. SVS does more than just improve situational awareness and increase efficiency. In this example, due to a degradation of situational awareness, the aircraft is approaching a cell tower. The Phase 8 system, with the aid of the obstacle database, effectively alerts the pilot of the obstacle, giving him enough time to make a corrective maneuver. The horizontal situation indicator displays the current heading, as well as track and course deviation information. In this example, the heading is approximately 140 degrees. The selected heading is displayed in cyan and shown using the heading bug. The white triangle indicates the aircraft track, which is currently 104 degrees. 
This information tells the pilot that the aircraft is in a crab to the right. We can see in the wind readout that this is correct. In fact, we have a crosswind of about 38 knots. The area within the dotted lines here indicates the SVS field of view. This view indicates the lateral boundaries of the terrain view displayed on the PFD. A feature unique to the helicopter implementation of SVS is its ability to orient the horizontal display to the aircraft track, heading, or a combination of the two. During most flight conditions, a pilot benefits more from a track-centric terrain display. As an example, during an approach with a crosswind, a pilot focuses his attention on the runway or landing point, as opposed to the aircraft heading. This means that a pilot will want to focus along the course or track of the aircraft instead of the heading. This track-centric view is reproduced on the SVS PFD as track mode and is of great benefit to pilots as it displays obstacles along the aircraft's path. During landing and flight at slower ground speeds, the pilot benefits more from a heading-centric terrain display, and as such, the heading mode displays an SVS view that is oriented to the aircraft heading. To help facilitate a smooth transition between track and heading, a split mode is implemented. The split mode is a transitionary mode and displays a combination of the track and heading modes momentarily during the transition between track and heading modes. The displayed mode is dependent on the ground speed and drift angle and can be illustrated using this performance envelope. As we can see, for most situations, the mode defaults to track. Heading mode is used for slow ground speeds or extremely high drift angles. At extreme drift angles, hover or backwards flight, aircraft path or track information would not be of use to the pilot and may be incorrect. In this example, the aircraft is traveling at a ground speed of approximately 84 knots. The wind is at 30 knots from the right and the aircraft has a crosswind correction of approximately 30 degrees. We are in track mode. In this example, the aircraft is decelerating as it approaches the airport. As the ground speed decreases below 30 knots, we transition to split mode. Split mode on the PFD shows a combination of the current track and heading. In fact, it shows a view direction that is approximately one-third from the track direction and two-third from the heading direction. In this example, we are at 21 knots ground speed during the final phase of the approach. As the aircraft slows below 19 knots ground speed, the aircraft begins the transition into heading mode. The mode enunciator flashes during the transition between modes. As we transition into heading mode, the flight path symbol fades from view and the flight director begins providing pitched base flight guidance. Once the mode is boxed, we are in heading mode. This can be verified by observing that the field of view is centered on the aircraft's heading. Another Phase 8 SVS feature is the HSI pushdown. Heading mode helps the pilot maintain situational awareness during landing, as what is displayed on the PFD is the same as what is seen outside the windscreen. When flying at high flight path angles, the HSI is moved lower on the display to make room for the flight path symbol to be shown on the pitch scale. In this example, as the aircraft approaches the runway and the flight path angle increases, we observe the HSI pushdown. The HSI pushdown can occur at any mode except for hover. If, due to the high flight path angle, the flight path symbol becomes momentarily non-conformal to the terrain, the symbol will be dashed. Honeywell's Synthetic Vision System contains a number of features that greatly supplement a pilot's situational awareness, increasing the level of safety during visual and instrument flight conditions. In addition, the features unique to the helicopter implementation make SVS a valuable tool for helicopter pilots.